Him giving his State of the State address today, highlighting the promises he kept during his term as governor. CBS 46's Haley Mason joins us live from the Capitol with the very latest. Haley, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Sean. Governor Brian Kemp today using his amended budget proposals to deliver on campaign promises and things that he sees as priorities in the state. So today he's focusing on health care, teachers, education, and law enforcement. The bold conservative agenda I've outlined over the last few days prioritizes education, health care, and public safety. Governor Brian Kemp delivering the last state of the state address of his term. He vowed to complete his promise of a historic teacher pay raise, proposing the last installment, $2,000 for teachers. This $2,000 raise will impact K-12 through teachers, assistant teachers, and pre-K teachers who I think we can all agree have gone above and beyond for their students throughout the pandemic. Kemp also adding a one-time payment to staff like bus drivers and nurses. Focusing in on political issues, Kemp is vowing to help block critical race theory in schools, which is currently not taught in Georgia's K-12 curriculum. From the classroom to the ball field, there are those who want to divide our kids along political lines, push partisan agendas and indoctrinate students from all walks of life. That's why I'm looking forward to working with the members of the General Assembly this legislative session to protect our students from divisive ideologies like critical race theory that pits kids against each other. I talked to the president of the Georgia Association of Educators, kindergarten teacher Lisa Morgan. We are appreciative that he is um, fulfilling his promise and providing the last $2,000 in the raise for next year. Morgan says teachers appreciate the pay raises, but they did not endorse the governor's anti-CRT stance. We believe that every student has a right to a full, accurate, honest education and a curriculum that includes concepts that um, might be difficult to discuss, um, but educators are professionals and we know how to discuss those concepts in a developmentally appropriate manner. Moving on to public safety, Kemp is also including a $5,000 raise for law enforcement. Oh, as long as I'm governor, I will always back the blue. I hope you all again will help me recognize all these hardworking men and, and women across our state for their efforts. And while state Democrats do agree with the teacher and state employee pay raises, they say that it is not enough money and it doesn't impact enough people across the state. The Democrats offer their response, and I'll share that at 6 o'clock, is they really clamp down on the governor's stance on critical race theory as well as his handling of the pandemic. Reporting live inside the state capitol, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.